Here we go. One of the most controversial topics right next to whether it's either GIF or JIF. Plain and simple. Is Mac OS better than Windows or is Windows better than Mac for coding? Which one do we prefer? And the answer is, well, it's really up to you. That's it. That's the answer. No more. It's settled. I don't got to talk about it no more. No, one, none of y'all ask me anymore. It's done. But on the real, which one's better for coding? Mac OS or Windows? It's the question that gets asked a lot, whether it's in the DMs, Twitter, Reddit, people be fighting over this kind of thing. Like, which one do you choose, right? There's so many cons and pros to the each of them. Which environment is better for coding? For me personally, I will just answer this outright and then we'll go into some of the topics and reasoning behind why I choose this specific platform. But Mac OS is going to take it for me as far as what environment I choose for development. Now, don't get me wrong. Windows is still good. And for those of you guys who watch my videos, you'll understand that I still code on Windows from time to time. You see it on stream. I, for whatever reason, just get way too lazy to hook my Mac up to the streaming PC and I'll just code off of Windows. And there is no problem with that. But there are a couple things that keep me from staying on a Windows platform as far as coding. The first thing to consider before we even get into like Unix, you know, the other dev environment, is going to be the OS itself. When it comes to Mac, there are no interruptions. If there are very, very little, right? If you guys have used Windows PCs before and have used them extensively, you know the dreaded, dreaded thing about Windows updates. They come up constantly. Sometimes they get pushed so hard that like your, win your system won't work unless you got to restart. You know what I mean? Like sometimes those things get way too aggressive. The, the amount of notifications, the amount of pop-ups with OneDrive, you know, the, the, the using a Microsoft account, if you're using a local account, all those different pops ups keep coming up and it gets very annoying when you're trying to develop. There's not a way to turn them off. Back then in Windows 7, it was much, much easier to turn off those notifications and to, you know, pause Windows updates. They've made it easier now in Windows 10, but the pop ups still keep coming. You know, like Windows updates are still pushed at a very high rate. Whereas with Mac OS, you may have an update. You may have some sort of app updates as well that isn't OS related but they sit patiently in the background waiting for you to hit install and waiting for you to download. It's very easy for you to turn off automatic updates even when automatic updates are on. It's not like you get interrupted in the middle of a session when you need to focus. That's one of the beautiful things that I love about Mac OS is that it's very, very quiet, it's simple and the, the overall feel of the OS itself is very, very clean. Whereas Windows can get very clunky, there are ways to make it clean, there are ways to make it nice, but at the end of the day, out the box, Mac OS is great. Once you have an environment set up, you're ready to go and you don't got to worry about any of those pop-ups, right? You can easily turn them off. Very, very simple. And I think as a developer, you want that kind of environment where you are uninterrupted in a sense and that you can just get to work right when you open up your laptop. To piggyback off of that, let's go into a bit of like what the Unix environment is like compared to a Windows one. Unix is just like one of those environments that is very, very stable. You can use it very easily and it's a lot more secure when when it comes to Windows. If you've ever been on a Windows machine or have, you know, for me, I've worked in IT, so I kind of get the sense. I've worked both with Windows machines and Mac machines. You have to worry so much when you get a user that has a Windows machine when it comes to malware, Trojan, viruses, anything that that Windows machine is subject to as far as a malicious attack. It's so much easier to do that on a Windows machine. Whereas if you go on a Unix machine, it's very, very hard to get those kinds of things. It's not impossible, but it's a lot more secure and it's a lot more stable when you're dealing with Unix based machines machines. Not to mention the command line is just a lot easier to use. You have, you know, a command prompt on Windows that's just very, very clunky. And I feel like it's hard to use. There is PowerShell, but they had to make PowerShell in order for, you know, developers to actually use a command line, even remotely close to what a Unix one would be. But, you know, using Bash or ZSH on Unix machines is so much easier. The command line is easy to navigate. You don't have to worry about like stuff like CMD and things like that. There are different commands that are differing and it's very, very hard to navigate through, at least in my opinion, you know, there are what uh, Windows developers that are very comfortable in their command line and not to knock it to them, right? You can also install things like WSL2 to get a Linux subsystem running on top of or underneath your Windows OS and have that subsystem and file system ready, readily available to you while you're developing. But it's not something that is, you know, out the box ready for you. Once you get into your Mac, your Unix based machine, you have a terminal that is beautiful, easy to use, easy to navigate. And yet again, it just 
one thing that I prefer over a Windows machine. If you guys have seen on stream, there are times that I just like forget commands when I'm using command prompt or Power PowerShell. I do have Git Bash on there, but even then, sometimes that thing gets clunky. You want something that's integrated into the OS that works well just out the box on your machine. And that's what Unix and Mac OS gives you. With that being said, having a easy to navigate command line is very, very important when you are a developer. You're going to be living essentially in your command line or using it a lot. So make sure that whatever way you choose, whether it be Mac OS or Windows, you're comfortable in that environment as far as the command line. If you're not comfortable, it's gonna be very, very hard for you. And it's gonna be a learning curve for you in order to learn that command line and get comfortable with, right? I've used both. I just tend to navigate and gravitate towards the Mac OS and Unix based terminals. They just work a lot easier for me. The other thing you probably want to consider when you're choosing between Mac or Windows is going to be the build quality of the actual hardware. Now, when we look at MacBooks or when we look at Windows machines in general, Mac tends to have more elegant, simple, and pretty robust hardware, right? Especially in the in the recent years, quality on the hardware has increased and not just on the outside chassis, we're talking inside hardware as well. With the inclusion and the new adaptation of M1 in some of their new line of the MacBook and Mac mini, as well as like recent iterations of the MacBook Pro where I have the 16 inch MacBook where we have Intel i9s, 64 gigs of RAM and like huge, like eight terabytes of SSD. That's crazy amounts of hardware to fit inside of a MacBook Pro and to keep the simple, simplistic and minimal design in hardware like that is very, very cool and very, very appealing to people like us where it's developers, it's very, very simple. You get one body, you know what you're getting, you know what hardware comes in it and it's done. With the Windows side of things, it can get very, very, very complex and very overloading when it comes to hardware because there's a bunch of companies that are using Windows to put into their machines and it comes in all different sizes, different components. You just, there's so much to look at, right? And that's not a bad thing to have an abundance of hardware, but it can be difficult to choose when you are deciding on a main system for you to code in. On top of that, right? Everyone has a budget. That is also something you need to take into account. Mac is typically very expensive compared to a Windows machine. It's very easy to get a Windows machine and just get it up and running. You can pay not, you can pay under a thousand dollars to get a laptop. It doesn't have to be top of the line. It is going to be a Windows machine and you can get up and running, get to coding. And that's that. Whereas Mac, there is a pay to win kind of thing that I like to think about where you do have to pay a premium in order to get the hardware and the quality of the OS that you are getting with an Apple machine. That being said, that is something that you need to take into account when you are deciding a machine. When you don't, when budget is one of the things that you have to think about, do not make Mac versus Windows the precedent. Make the budget the precedent. If you cannot afford a MacBook, don't buy a MacBook. Plain and simple, right? Don't force yourself to get a MacBook when you can't afford it. Work on a Windows machine or put Linux on it. That's something I'll get into later. Put Linux on it and then boom, you have yourself a perfect environment to code in. You don't need anything expensive like a Mac. It's not going to change the way you code. It's going to change the environment for sure. It might make things a little easier, but there's nothing wrong with coding on Windows. There's nothing wrong with coding on a Linux machine that's built on top of a Windows machine. Take that into account. Throw everything out the window if budget is a huge concern of yours. If you can afford the MacBook, then you may opt to go that route as, a, as opposed to the Windows route. But keep that in mind. If you cannot afford the MacBook, there is no such thing as the best laptop. The best laptop is the one that you can afford and the one that you are comfortable using. So if you can't afford the MacBook, don't go for the MacBook. But understand that pricing is going to vary. Typically, it's going to be on the very high end as far as the Apple side, and it can range from the low to high end on the Windows side because there are going to be a lot of third party companies that are just using Windows as their main OS for the laptops. OK, so those are some of the main points. And one of the bigger questions that get asked as well is, is Windows bad for coding? And I will say, no, I don't think it's bad. There are some additions to Windows that make it better for development, and it definitely gives some competition when we're talking about Windows versus Mac. So with the addition of PowerShell, like I was talking about earlier, it makes it easier for you to use the command line in comparison to using something like Command Prompt, where it's very clunky. PowerShell enables developers to easily use the command prompt. Uh, it's nothing like Bash, but like I said, you can install a subsystem of Linux for Windows uh, if you're using Windows 10, which most of us should be using anyways. So if you install that subsystem for Linux that enables you to use Bash on your Windows machine, which then 
enables you and gives you the opportunity to use other technologies to develop with that you couldn't previously do if you couldn't install you know the subsystem for linux on windows so there is that there is some competition and windows isn't completely out the water when you are looking for windows machines to develop on right so either way you go you still have access to a good terminal and you still have access to a good environment just keep in mind that it's not a native environment right so there are some quirks still and what does it for me is the interruptions and the feel of the os for windows and that's why i still navigate towards mac os one other thing to keep in mind is what you are primarily going to be developing in that's going to be a big question as far as what you choose for windows or mac you see like if you are planning on being an ios developer or you are very curious about being an ios developer there is a there is the question that you need to ask is whether or not you want to be coding in native code or you want to be coding in some sort of cross-platform language such as like a react native or flutter if you're going for react native or flutter a windows machine is fine you can definitely develop your app on that system in that environment but keep in mind you will probably need a mac in order to send that up to the app store so there is a limitation there you still have access to the play store on both environments but you may not be able to post your app on the app store if you don't have an apple machine now if you want to be going native so you're probably going to be coding in swift you're definitely going to be wanting to lean over towards the mac os side of things because obviously you can only code swift and xcode and that requires you to have a mac so if you are planning on being a swift developer or making native apps in ios you are going to need a mac machine so keep that in mind lean more towards the mac side if you are planning on being a mobile developer especially on the ios side of things there is no compromise to that you kind of need one hopefully those points kind of uh helped you make a decision now to wrap things up what is the best choice for me what is the best choice for you and how do you make that decision use these points kind of use them to navigate towards what direction you want to go with but i think the big thing for you is again asking yourself the question of what you're going to be developing mainly as far as what technologies and what kind of stack you're going to be using so whether you're going to be on the front end the back end mobile whatever it is right make that decision based off of that based off of what you want as far as an environment do you want ease of use do you want versatility do you like clean os do you want something that just works out the box you know what i mean so there's all these differing factors that play into it that we touched on in this video so it's a pretty big component as far as what's going to help you make a decision the other thing that i would definitely recommend is that you first off decide on what your budget is for a system that's going to be a big thing if you can and have the buying power to go for something way more than what a macbook pro would cost or a mac mini costs then you have the ability to look at both sides but if you you are hesitant on the pricing of an Apple machine, then you may need to consider and pull back and say, okay, maybe I wait a little bit, stick with what machine I have right now, whether it be that a Windows machine or whatever, then I'll wait to get a Mac later or go for the Windows machine and stick with that environment for now, make it, you know, install the Linux subsystem, get bash going and then set up that environment for your needs and deal with it for now. It's not like it, you're going to suffer being in a Windows environment, but it is something that I don't feel Feel comfortable as of right now i did start coding in windows and then eventually moved to a mac so i have that comparison i am not biased i always had a windows machine it wasn't until january of 2020 that i switched over to a mac machine so i have both sides and i have coded on both i definitely do feel more comfortable and gravitate towards the mac os than i do with the windows machine with that being said you can become a developer on any machine you choose no matter what side you choose whether you choose use Apple or Windows, you can become a developer for any platform that you want. As long as the will is there, as long as the jive is there, you, as long as you have a computer and access to the internet, you can do whatever you want. Decide which way you go. Don't listen to anyone that like is making a case for one or the other, not aggressively, at least I'm making a case for Mac OS, but I, I will tell you that if you can only code on a Windows machine, you can do it. Now, people who are fighting for one side more than the other are tend to be trolls. So don't listen to them. Listen to your gut on that one listen to your instincts and see which way you want to go but there's always linux to code on if you really really want to be in the development space there is that and we'll do that in another video if you guys enjoyed this video hit me down in the comments and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the mac versus windows debacle and debate let me know what you guys think hit the like button and subscribe it would genuinely help me out but i will see you guys on the next one peace